This is the Andre Segovia Show. Hi, everyone, and welcome to an informal installment of the Andre Segovia Show. Uh, for those of you that don't follow me on the socials, particularly Instagram, uh, you're not actually used to this setup. It's not a setup. I'm just literally in my home gym. Uh, and I was supposed to work out today. Uh, I haven't worked out in a while. Uh, and I'll explain why here in, in a bit. Uh, but for those that are unaware and don't follow me across the socials, you, you should. Please do. Um, you're missing out on a lot of other content. I tend to just talk to the camera at times in what I call um, coffee breaks. The coffee breaks are at random times. It could be in the morning. It could be afternoon. Uh, it could even be very late at night, such as uh, now. Right now, it's sometime past midnight. Um, and yeah, I have coffee late, but uh, that's not why I'm still up. I had some things that I needed to do because believe me, in the past week, the schedules have just been completely messed up. So the episode that um, I was supposed to air in place of this um, is not ready for prime time. So I actually got to retool that one and possibly do the whole thing all over again. And with that, that means the um, tech unboxings that I have, I got to push back yet again so for those of you that are patiently or impatiently waiting for my tech unboxings of things you're i'm getting around to it um it's just well uh for those of you that have actually seen my instagram live streams that i tend to do from my uh my home gym um the lighting is better now because uh i had new lights put in finally because the lights the fluorescent lights were broken so uh, upgraded them Big time, and I could actually see things in the garage at night. So I'm like, yeah, it's gonna make these videos a little, little better to, a little easier on the eyes. But you're still looking at me, so. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is how I conduct myself on just these uh, random lives. I take questions on the air, or I talk about just, you know, things, things that are going on. And I think that's kind of why I, I wanted to, um, I wanted to talk to all of you including all of you across the podcast platforms that are tuning in thank you so much for that and it's it's been an interesting uh week that's uh i would say month that's uh, affected a lot of how i'm trying to approach the content that i'm generating uh and of course there's stuff happening in my personal uh, life that uh, have altered some of that schedule like for example i was supposed to work out tonight um, i had other busy work to do but that's good but uh, I've, been, I've been having to sleep with uh, uh, my wrist wrapped because um, i slept on it wrong i wish i could tell you that i was lifting heavy and i screwed that up and i injured my wrist nope that's not what happened i literally slept on my wrist and i i messed it up uh, and uh, th a couple of nights later, I slept on it wrong again. Uh, and like, dude, I got to put a splint on this or I'm going to really aggravate it. Well, it didn't take that long. I think it was by the fifth night when I slept on it wrong again. Um, yeah, it was I, the, the pain was just unbearable. So uh, I've been uh, sleeping with my uh, wrist wrapped for the past, uh, I would say, three nights. And it's considerably better. But, well, yeah, that's, that's, that's what happens. And just like I said... Crazy schedules, uh, late night sleeping, kids waking up in the middle of the night for X, Y, Z reasons and things like that. Uh, my priority goal is to try to get my sleep in check. That's not happening, but at, hey, at least I'm I'm trying something. I'm trying something, but uh, why am I talking to the camera right now at some time past midnight? <laughs> if, it's, if I'm supposed to be trying to sleep earlier, believe me, I got a lot of, lot of busy work to do. So with that, um, that's why the, an, an episode that I had produced is not um, going up. I have to redo it. Uh, that one, I was uh, reacting to uh, an article that's talking about um, people or certain groups and demographics uh, need to be property owners, which is good. I want to hear that, and that's right up my alley. I, when I talk about business, I mostly talk about real estate and economic um, policies that do affect uh, my field of work from the construction side to the real estate side and being in California all sides are under attack so uh, I highlight those things but the, the fast and furious nature of the news that keeps coming out from both Sacramento uh, and the Los Angeles County uh, Board of Supervisors is absolutely bonkers it's so hard to keep up with all of it that's really made it difficult to prioritize information um, so I've I've turned to social media uh, updates and pushes, but uh, the audience is not all there. They're not on 
uh, all on one place, for example. And I'm trying to get as much news as I can out there just for people to be um, aware. Because, well, like me, and I'm sure you, you probably have this for yourself, you have a life to live. You know, we, we can't keep up with all this and the continue the continued distractions that we get from Washington. Or like that's what's actually affecting our very backyard. No, we have multiple different governments affecting us right now. There's a great line from the, the film The Patriot. Would you tell me, please, Mr. Howard, why should I trade one tyrant 3,000 miles away for 3,000 tyrants one mile away? Pretty much feels the same way right now, where a lot of us give more attention to what's happening in Washington, D.C., that we forget that we have the municipalities at the city level, then at the county level, and then the state level that are basically uh, doing an onslaught every single day because you are not paying attention. Uh, and that's what I've been trying to give more attention to. And even that's like, I wish I could digest all this information and be able to, uh, you know, just just to inform you of it so i have to pick and choose my battles um i highlight sacramento whenever i feel it's absolutely necessary for for the podcast to be made aware but i've been having to look more localized uh, recently la has been the big one because they're supposed to be terminating the emergency order of uh, so that with respects to the eviction moratorium and this big scare about an eviction tsunami so-called uh some of that is made by the city and the county and they're trying to put the stops all into it and uh, i guess just to give you um an overview let's just say the la county board of supervisors is trying to make this permanent the supposed covid emergency orders permanent yeah and what that spells is just basically the, the the entire collapse of the real estate industry in uh, in, uh, in in Southern California because LA is just gonna you know it's gonna filter over and affect everything else around it like a cancer, uh, which it already does. But that's all to say that there's a lot of stuff going on, and I guess this is why I kind of felt that this is the episode I w that I was gonna do live on Instagram, and instead you know I said you know what um, why don't I just put this up for everybody uh, so for those of you in the podcast you're you're not missing out on much visually uh, so if you're able to if you're watching on the video platforms then i guess uh, just seeing me sit down at the gym is you know, i'll stand up a little bit <laughs> so changes the scenery a little not, not, well, not that much but uh if you haven't seen the walkthrough of my gym i actually done it and it's on instagram so i recommend you check it out so i don't retread that old territory follow me at the andre segovia across every social except twitter that one's underscore andre segovia uh, i wish they could do more than 15 characters so i could get the andre segovia there that'd be that'd be complete but uh not there yet so anyway um i guess what i wanted to uh, to, to highlight is that um, I also like highlighting, at least on my socials, big news items that uh, no one really talks about. And recently, I've been talking a lot about the um, the east, the derailment, the train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio. So if you haven't yet uh, heard about that, which you should have by now, I'm assuming everybody's heard of it. But the first news clipping I put up on that after it's like, dude, it's 10 days and no one's really talking about it. And my father, who's a much, a much bigger news junkie than I am. And when I asked him, have you heard about this train derailment? That's it's almost two weeks ago. He's like, no, I don't know anything about this. Like, exactly. We have a freaking mini Chernobyl in East Palestine, Ohio. There's even articles and, and stories of people showering with bottled water because you see what's in the water over there. The garment says, oh yeah, you know, the EPA says it's, it's safe to drink. Okay, you first. I've been having to highlight things on social media that I feel that uh, are, are part of, um, I don't wanna call it the culture war, but there really is no other description for it. And it's something that I've kind of done since I first started doing this. It's gonna be, wow, almost 20 years ago that I started. I, I mean, started email newsletter, morphed into a blog, morphed into a podcast that uh, morphed into a, um, its own website. Uh, then the newsreel, thanks to the micro blogging of the early days of Twitter, into what is now known today. Uh, major updates at the website, by the way. So hope you like the changes. Uh, it'll be much easier for me to be updating things there. So um, I hope you check it out, theandresicova.com. And well, let's just say that there's there's a lot going on. And instead of talking about the pertinent things, we're more like, oh, did you see that balloon? 
yeah, smoke and mirrors, folks. Keep your ears to the ground. You know, it's uh, there, there's there is a lot going on, and uh, the, the the division among our fellow Americans is is great. And you know, there are people that genuinely need help, and they're not getting the help. Uh, and with all this talk about, you know, a lot of the elements are are because uh, people are not housed. So you'll hear a lot more push about the housing affordability crisis and how do we solve the housing affordability, um, the housing shortage that we have, and this and that. And they try to say we need to build more housing, build more housing. It's a it's it's just an all encompassing term that means nothing, honestly, the way it's being used. The same people saying that the problem that we have right now is the lack of home ownership, especially among the minority demographics like yours truly, uh, are pushing this, are the same publications that we're pushing not to buy a home because you're hurting the environment. And now they're telling you uh, because you're not owning your own home, you're hurting the environment. You got to pick a freaking lane, okay? Seriously, pick one uh, because you keep changing the stories. Now it's like, you should be buying a house. Okay, now they can't afford it because the interest rates are too high. So what do we do with all this? You know, it, and I've been trying to, I feel like a freaking salmon uh, having to swim upstream against uh, the narrative uh, that's always being put out there, whether it's business, economics, politics, and all that stuff. Uh, and now it's like, okay, you're making a good point. You mean you're coming at it the wrong way, but uh, you're, you're finally agreeing with what I've been saying because I've been having to push back against the lies about owning a home is not a good investment. Actually, it's a very bad thing and you're being very, very selfish if you want to own your own home. That's not just coming from business publications and uh, and big newspapers you know, that have no business weighing in on this. This is coming from actual business investors too. They say, no, no, it's not, it's not a good investment. Why? So you can buy it up to companies like BlackRock and stuff? No, that, that's what has been happening. And now it's like, you know what? You, you, you need to buy your own home. Well, there's nothing left out there, especially when a bunch of Californians are leaving from here to buy elsewhere. I just I saw recently before I started recording this, uh, about half a million people have left L.A. I, I didn't see the, uh, if it was like an annual thing. Um, like in the past year, half a million have left Los Angeles. Gee, I wonder why. If oh, I don't doubt it for a second, because I've been talking about the mass exodus out of California, Cal Exit. Um, well, California Exodus, Cal Exit is a whole other thing, uh, and it could be a thing. You might not. You, if you haven't heard about Cal Exit, uh, I'm trying to get um, one of those folks on the podcast. I haven't seen him do an interview in years, but I like to bring him on the show to be able to discuss these things. Because like, how realistic is it that California will will uh, be split into at least two states how realistic is that more realistic than you think but hey don't give me hope <laughs> um you know it's well I, I don't know what i'm gonna keep talking about that but the point is like i said there's a lot going on and in some cases all i can do is what i do with my little family is like hey let's pray that's that's all we can do um sometimes I just feel like there's nothing else left but it shouldn't be like prayer is the last thing and the last resort no prayer should be our first and the last uh, because uh, pray without ceasing um but there might be the lots of you that don't even believe in any of that keep your prayers they do nothing all right so be it so be it but for those of you that that know i'm the power of prayer and know about um something that transpired in my personal uh, life last year i can tell you that uh, the power of prayer is real and that's someone that grew up christian uh and has been christian half of his life at least in sometimes i'm even i'm still reminded of it uh at this late stage in my life but anywho this is sometimes how it goes i just talking to the camera uh normally i get involvement from the audience when i do it live this isn't live so it's just me but it just felt needed to come from the heart in this one, unprepared, no notes. It's just a lot of stuff that I wanted to talk about. And, well, this is my outlet, so there it is. Anyway, when you're seeing this, it should be, or listening to this, this should be a Monday. And I hate Mondays, but I really hope that your Monday is going well. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, you're interested in other off the cuff live streams? I recommend you follow me on Instagram for those for behind the scenes stuff. I do giveaways there too, but uh, more I guess the hard hitting stuff, um, more uh, I guess more one on one if you will. That would be locals, join my locals community, and that's where the stuff is. And keep an eye on Substack because my articles are going over there now. 
But check out my, my updated website. Worked hard on it. So, uh, theandrewsegova.com. Anyway, thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.